Well, latest figures say as many as 9,000 men are victims of male rape every single year. I'm joined now by Sam Thompson. Now, Sam has very bravely been working with the Coronation Street cast and the writers in the hopes that it'll help others to speak out. Sam, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me And it's, it's fantastic that you have been so brave to, to because it's very, very difficult, isn't it, for, for anyone who's a victim of rape. But it seems to be, for, particularly for men, to come forward. Yeah, of course. I mean, like I say, it's, everyone finds it very difficult. It's a very difficult thing to speak about. Um, I think at the moment there is this taboo. We're speaking about male rape. Uh, and, and then, but stories like this is what's highlighted it and making it easier for people to talk about. Which is what we want. Of which course is it is, yeah, of course. absolutely what course. we want. It really is. You're just out for the evening, got talking to some men outside the pub, went back with them and then... The horrific attack happened on you. I don't know how you deal with that. But you were so brave because you went to the police. Yeah, I did. I, I went to report. I think that what made that happen was that almost instantly I had to speak about it. Um, my girlfriend at the time and my friend were where I was. And so when I came back, I didn't have time to process an excuse or to, or to keep it bottled in. Right. So it just came out straight away. And then obviously with their encouragement, I went straight away to report to the police. Gosh, that must have been really hard, though. To, to do that must have been really, really difficult. It was, it was very difficult because you, you effectively you're going to go and speak to a stranger about yeah. what's just happened to you. Anyway. But, you know, they have, they have special training. They deal with you in the right ways and right. it does make it easier at the time. Really hard, though, because they, they did arrest a couple of men, but... They weren't charged in the end. It was that must be very difficult for you to come to terms with that as well. Yeah, it's it's something that I think about a lot. Yeah. Um, but you have to get on with life. If I continue to worry about the fact that, that this has happened, you know, so sure. many cases go that way. So it's just I, I've got to move on and, and live my life as if that you know that, that they have yeah. been. But you have done incredibly well. You've helped other people. You've set up Survivors Manchester, which is fantastic that you help help others, and. It must be, I don't know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to move on from something like that, but you haven't let it hold you back. No, I, I think that what I wanted to do was I wanted to turn this negative experience into yeah. a positive. And the way that I wanted to do that was to help other people. So with already having therapy with Survivors Manchester, then getting in contact with Duncan, the CEO, arranged what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And I felt that I'd found my voice. If I could use that to help other people find sure. theirs, then it would be a positive outcome from it. It must so sometimes you must go to some very dark places. It must be really, really tough for you yeah. as well. You know, it's not it's not been easy. No, no. And, it's you know, I, I recently started to re-engage in therapy again because there's always going to be little things that I've got to work through. There's always going to be good and bad days and that's perfectly normal. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd had my first course of therapy. Everything was fine. Now I realise there's a few other things that I need to go back and discuss. Sure. And again, that's fine again. So it, it's going to be an ongoing thing. It's something yeah. that I've got to live with. But just got to accept that and live my life as if... It is. I think you're amazing. And you've been Thank talking you. to Coronation Street, of course, because this is a very important storyline. It's a very sensitive storyline. Already there has been criticism, I'm sure, as you know. Um, what would you say to people who are saying we shouldn't show this? I think it, it perfectly sums up why they should. I think that because they're saying that we shouldn't be showing this because it's a male and because, the, because people aren't aware of this and because it's a taboo subject. Of it's such a big soap opera like Coronation Street covering it. It's, it's engaging with people that we wouldn't, necessarily be able to reach in other methods sure. and all those silent survivors that are at home the phone lines have spoke for themselves with a 200 percent increase on saturday is it 200 percent on, on saturday wow. for the national uh, male survivor helpline and then a hundred percent increase on monday morning as well God, that's incredible isn't it, it shows that the people are out there have been silent for so long yeah. and okay some people may find it uncomfortable to watch mm -hmm. and may not be what they're used to on whatever evening they decide to watch it but think about all the people that's helping and yeah. I think that therefore it's so much more important that we just focus on that for a bit mm. and, and not worry about that it's not whether you know how dark it is and everything like that. For you uh, dealing with Coronation Street did that help you in a way or was it difficult for you was it hard to sort of revisit your experiences or you know I know there was a means to an end in a sense. Yeah you know? I, I th every, every little bit that I do it always helps me along it's helping myself in my recovery as well mm. and with Coronation Street because knowing how important it was going to be and how many people it was going to help it, yeah, it does. It, of course it helps. Um, you know, it's about having those conversations. Like I said before, when I want to turn it into a, a positive, yep. this is just ongoing with that, so it's just helping me with that. No, that makes sense. And also, I guess, because everybody knows your story and everybody that you love and that's important to you knows your story, they'll know when you're having a bad day. 
Yeah, of course. You know, because you've been open about it. And if you hadn't been open about it, they would be all wondering, why has he changed so much? And if you hadn't got help, I mean, who knows what might, might not have happened? It's, it's exactly the same as like a physical injury. So right. everyone, they, if I need five minutes, I can say I need five minutes. I don't have to explain why people know. If I'm having a bad day, you know, I can say I'm having a bad day. And that makes life so much easier than rather trying to find an excuse or trying to explain yourself without using the actual words of what had happened. Mm. Which is why, you know, I encourage people to tell people when they can because the support networks will be around them somewhere. Sure. And it's, it makes it so much easier when people already know, are aware of what have happened. You don't have to repeatedly say mm. it. You can just get the support you need. And as always, um, the trouble with sometimes with people who this happens to, they might feel, they shouldn't, but they might feel a sense of blame or a sense of shame. And that's not right. That can't, we can't allow that. No, of course not. It, it's, it, I guess it's just an initial reaction. That's how people feel. But once, you know, you speak, seek support and people realise then, like it took me a while to overcome it. And then you realise it's not your fault at all. This is about power and control. And this is about, you know, other people have done this to you. And in that situation, there was nothing you could have done or mm. done anything differently, no matter what some people may say. And as soon as you come to terms with that, it's a lot easier to live your life afterwards. You're absolutely right about the power thing. You're absolutely right about that. Of course it is. Sam, I think you're amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much yeah, for coming for on and me. talking to us and also for, for helping Coronation Street making sure that they get this absolutely right because it really is important. And as you say, a 200% increase in calls that just shows you how many people are it's out incredible. there it's that incredible. really does have been suffering in silence. So thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much.